Hello everyone, I'm going to be doing a video today which I didn't really want to make and I didn't think I'd have to make because it's been a very long-standing issue which I've been seeing within our kind of music community surrounding Doom and Doom Eternal and the soundtrack behind that. Essentially the problem is that there's been during that kind of grey area where um, obviously McGordon wasn't paid properly for his work and they weren't able to publish the Doom Eternal OST, there were loads of gym mixes, loads of games and stuff going on during that. Um, there's been this grey area which has been exploited where people have basically just re-uploaded the actual game rips of the uh, Doom Eternal soundtrack and they've actually managed to put that on distribution services and go undetected for a very very long time and I just want to highlight this because we're going to be coming up to Doom the Dark Ages and I'm hyped for that I think they are going to do something very unique with that soundtrack at least from a little bit of info I've been getting and, um, you know, I'm very excited for that because if it's an improvement on Doom Eternal with the melee and the boss system, it's going to be a very, very good game. Um, despite the fact that id Software obviously didn't pay Mick. But yet again, he was getting paid a lot individually, so it's probably just a managerial breakdown. Um, not good by any means, very unprofessional. But, um, you know, I like to give people a bit of grace and the benefit of the doubt. Why I want to get onto this topic now is because it's essentially really, really annoying me. And it's probably the biggest grift I've seen in this community completely right so let me just get my tab open and you'll basically see what i'm on about all right sorry my camera's just a bit all over the place so um i'm just gonna drag myself i'm gonna drop myself here and we're gonna get a little look at what exactly is going on here okay um this is quite obviously very very bad um we can see that Meat Hook from the soundtrack, brilliant track, um, completely deserves to be on Spotify because it is an amazing track. It's professional quality. There were no issues with it. I loved it. I loved the mix. I loved the mastering. It deserves to be on Spotify. What it doesn't deserve is to be re-uploaded and for the original composer to be paid nothing. And I will reiterate that. I really doubt Mick Gordon has a cut in this. He is not credited. Um, let's look on the artist credits. He is not even credited for his work, uh, so it is very unlikely that he is being paid revenue for his work. Therefore, this is essentially a complete steal. This is a complete um, theft of intellectual property. Now, whatever you think the legal grey areas are with the Doom soundtrack, um, this goes beyond that. This is essentially a breach of laws in pretty much every single country I know that exists. Um, and it's definitely a breach of Spotify's own policy in regards to artist credits and, you know, what people are entitled to. Um, and I'm just going to do a quick expo, essentially. Um, I'm going to basically just grab this thing. So this is the Spotify revenue calculator. Let's have a little look here. So we can actually calculate how many royalties are essentially... Um, being uh you know being made here and we can enter the amount of streams so i believe that's if i look again two million so let's just run that off two and then six zeros that's quite a bit of money you know, two, two million streams, that's uh, someone who's on minimum wage, that's their wage for half the year. Um, you know, to run away with five grand for a complete breach of intellectual property law is pretty bad. Um, and that's based on the worldwide average. Um, if we set this to Europe, uh, because not all Spotify streams are actually created equal, people in Europe are going to be paying more, therefore their streams are worth more. Uh, same with people in the US. We actually see that goes up to six, seven grand, right? You would pay a indie composer uh, about that much for a full soundtrack, right? Um, if they're working part time on it in a year, you would pay an indie composer that mu that much for a full soundtrack. Okay, so you can see why I have a problem with this, and I'm just going to highlight the fact that we can listen to this. It 
it's the same. He has laid some guitar over the top of it, if you could notice. So if you actually go and listen to that, feel free to go listen to it. Um, I personally want it taken off Spotify. I don't care if you enjoy it or you have it on a playlist or something. I don't mind about that. But I personally want this taken off Spotify because it's just insulting to the industry. And it just ruins the reputation, essentially, of streaming services. Um, even though their reputation is the best anyway, but, you know. Um, they should be taken off because maybe, maybe, like... The community would grace someone a little bit if they could actually pull off the Mick Golden style, but this guy doesn't, right? Let's listen to his next big track. No, right? That's like Polyphia, Pliny kind of unprocessed kind of sounding pop metal. Um, it's essentially Instagram guitar music, right? Um, I don't really care. If this guy gets mad at me and wants to call me out, go for it. But look, I'm not the one breaking the law. You're the one breaking the law. And if you've managed to exploit some sort of gray area in your own country, sure, like, okay, but it shouldn't be on Spotify because Spotify is a US company. And I would watch your back because you yourself are probably going to get sued, especially if this video does well. Anyway, that's the thing. Uh, I'm going to call a lot of this stuff out. I'm not going to say like, comment, and subscribe, but even though I just said it, but yeah, I just wanted to highlight this. I'm not going to edit this video either.